Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of representing an unknown quantity. This is standard 4.5a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 5 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Alexa had a total, that's going to be important, of 36 bottles of water. She drank half of the bottles of water last week, and she'll drink the remaining bottles of water during the next six days. And then she's going to drink the same number of bottles each day. So that is kind of confusing. We need to find W, the number of water bottles that she's going to drink during each of the next six days. So we've got a total of 36. And so let's just see if we can draw that. So I'm just going to draw an array. Four, five, six. You know, before we try to get into the strip diagram, just, just see if we can represent this somehow. So I'm just going to do a six by six array. Obviously, if I am dealing with 36, there's a lot of ways to make 36. So I could have done a 12 by three array. Could have done a 9x4, 4x9, any of those. But let's just do the 6x6. Six six. See if we can visually represent what is going on here. And if you're ever stuck on one of these problems, I would definitely recommend that. So here's my total of... I knew this is all the water bottles there are because they start right there with that word total. So when we're, when we're dealing with that total, that's going to be the, the top part of our strip diagram, right? So we're going to... draw a total and we'll say, you know what, we're not going to get any bigger than 36. We're just dealing with this 36. So she drank half the water bottles last week. So I'm just going to take this right here and I'm just going to just put like a little line through there. They're still there, but we're already done with that. That's last week. And how much is that, right? We've got a three, and we got six rows of three, so that's 18. So 36, if I wanted to cut that in half, that means divide by two. Cut in half means divide by two, that's 18. Right, so I could do this. I could, on my strip diagram I'm kind of building here, I could say 18 of them are already gone. So that's, that's good. We've got the first part. Now it's this second part right here that's going to be kind of confusing. Alexa's going to drink the remaining water bottles. Now, we already know that half is 30, half of 36 is 18, so this over here is also 18. I've got, I've got two sets of 18. So this other set of 18 is she's going to drink them during the next six days, but she's going to drink the same number of bottles each day. So this means equal groups. It's not like she's going to drink 10 and then 2 and then 3. It's going to drink the same number each of the six days. Equal groups lets me know that we're dealing with multiplication or divisioning. In this case, let's divide. We've got six, look, we've got six rows right here. So I can say day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six. And inside each of those days is going to be three. So let me see, I'm going to just draw thirds. Cut my thirds in half and I've got sixths. And here we go. We're looking for which diagram shows that how much she's going to find each drink each of the next six days. Well, I could put W in there, but we've already done the work. We know that they're going to be three. Six sets of three right here. That equals 18. Then the other 18, that makes you 36. So which of these strip diagrams best represents what we've already worked out here? Well, I can already tell you A is going to be wrong because this 36 is not the total. Now they put their total down below. That's fine. We put ours up on top. But that 36 needs to be your total. B, your 36 is your total. That's fine. Uh, and we've got the 6. The 6 isn't an amount. It's just the next 6 days. So that's not even an amount. Um, and that doesn't deal with half of it being gone. C, looks like they've got half gone. D, looks like they've got half gone. So the difference is D doesn't split it up into six equal days, and the answer is C.